It's too fast! How could you even tell what's on? I can tell. Hey, are you sad? That's embarrassing. But I have a solution for you. I have one of the best solutions. If you want to not be sad anymore, there's one thing that you can do that'll cure it instantly. Subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel, it'll kill your depression. Whoa, whoa, transition, transition, whoa, 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 oh my god. Today, we are doing something I am excited about. We're taking a, a gander down the rabbit hole, as they'd say. Today, I just had the idea I wanted to try and find the definitive weirdest commercial. And I don't know about you guys, but it's something about weirdness that, that plays such a weirdly important role in memory retention, okay? It also just has a factor of like meme ability and weirdness that just keeps it in people's brains as like a mind bug that they can't fucking stop thinking about. And I just want to start this off with one perfect example of that, okay? This one I don't think is the weirdest, but I think this proves my concept in its best form. And I think it was a huge dub for uh, the Mountain Dew Company. <clears throat> this fucking ad has not left my brain since I saw it, and I hate Mountain Dew. Man, I might just chill tonight. Puppy monkey baby. 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 Wow. I ow. Oh, this is it sticks in my fucking brain. I hate Mountain Dew. I I would never consume their energy drink because I have a better alternative. I have a caffeine addiction and justified by drinking V8 because it's kind of healthy. Uh, I'm just saying, they're wasting money, not sponsoring them. Just the fucking cursed aspect of this commercial. I have not been able to forget about Puppy Monkey Baby. You know, you love puppies. You love monkeys. You love babies. Baby. They're all so cute. What if we combine them into one thing? Boom! Three things that America loves in one! Buy our product! And it's such an ineffective marketing strategy because when you combine them, you get something that I don't think I can- I, I could hate more, frankly. Frankly, this is the worst thing that has ever been created for marketing purposes. Um, this statement was immediately proven wrong by every other video on this list. Search up Axe Chocolate Body Spray Commercial. Okay, let's do that one. I'll, I'll watch the shitty version. Fine. I'm just a sucker for quality. That's gotta be racist. Like, I, they can't do that. Like... Like that just can't fly today, right? <laughs> that's terrifying! Don't act like that! Oh! Oh, that's horrifying! Uh, don't put- don't eat it! Why are they so turned on by this chocolate man? This is- this cannibalism? I don't know! Ah! Oh, they're eating him! They're literally eating him! Did she just eat his ass? What is happening? I didn't think we'd start out so powerful. I wanted to kind of slowly ramp into the weirdness. I started like, you know, puppy baby monkey. That's not too bad. But we're diving straight into this shit. Oh my god. This man lives in a zombie apocalypse without the zombie apocalypse. He's just like, everyone is fucking like banging. Like this is, this is a like. I was about. Like that's the, that's scene from The Walking Dead. Oh my god, this poor man. God, look at that face. He's in agony right now. He's bleeding out. So, so, oh my god. Oh my god. That is a strong start. I saw it when I was younger and I was terrified. Yeah, yeah, like this is traumatizing. If a kid sees this, this is a traumatizing ad, okay? But then again, it's so memorable that you can't fucking forget it. So in a way, it's an effective advertisement for X. God, that's weird. Do the little baby's ice cream ad? What is, what is that? Uh, no. 
I won't. Okay, fine. Well, fine, fine. Rip the bandaid off. This is we're gonna watch a lot of weird videos today, so you know, I guess we gotta get used to it. You gotta get used to it then. There's good reason for my glistening skin. Oh, there isn't. There isn't. Stop. And how I shine. I don't care about how you shine. And how my pores are so clean. I don't think clear. that no. Is this real? Or is this a skit? I watched this when it first came out. I eat little baby's ice cream. It keeps me young. This is a skit, it keeps me right? This is light a... on my feet. Is... I love my job. Okay. I love my life. I'm happy for you. Little baby's ice cream. Ice cream is a feeling. Like that it has to be a skit. It has to be a skit. This is not a real ice cream company. Ice ice cream. I see what they're going for here. Eyes scream. It can't- this isn't real, right? This isn't real. This isn't- You scream. Stop. Stop. This isn't real. This isn't this, real. This is, is this not real. 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 This can't this be real. This is- real. This is, is this No! Is you real? No! Is this real? real? This is, this is not- real? What is happening? Stop. I'm stopping this here. I'm stopping that here. This isn't real. Right. There's multiple videos. Oh, God, what is happening? Wait, was this really real? The Philadelphia chain Little Baby's Ice Cream hired filmmaker Doug Garth Williams to make a commercial. Little Baby, okay, it's no longer in business. Fuck, so it's real. It was real! Okay, <laughs> 1990s Gushers ad. Yeah, maybe that'll be better. Let's watch some kids turn into inanimate objects. That'll be more comforting than whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> Introducing new Fruitomic Punch Gushers with a taste that's gonna drive you fruity. It's oh, very, very different. Oh God, no! Appealing. Oh, oh, it's no! Don't do, don't eat it, no! No, he's done live. New Fruitomic Punch Gushers. The blast of fruit punch is gonna drive you. Yeah! Maybe, maybe I shouldn't buy the Gushers. I think I don't. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna buy Gushers anymore. I don't want to be permanently disfigured. That's what I'm gleaning from this ad, okay? That's that's the main takeaway I can take from this. I didn't think of the mental Im implications, the long-term mental effects of this stream on my psyche. Uh, it's already taken its toll. It's um, it's not going very well for me. Flintstone ad. Uh -huh. Hey, we ought to do something, Fred. Okay? How's about taking a nap? I got a better idea. Let's take a Winston break. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that got to me. Oh my, it's just something about literal cavemen. This is a crusty ad. Hey, don't say that about the 60s. Everything was crusty in the 60s. <laughs> no, um, it's just something so funny to me about like really cartoony cavemen being like, ah. so you want a cigarette? <laughs> but like, it's wild. Just like think about like fucking Marlboro Red, right? Contacting Peppa Pig. And and suddenly you see a commercial on on Disney Junior that's like, Daddy, what what is what is that you have in your hand? Oh, Peppa, I have some Marlboro Red. Hey, Ferb, what are we gonna do today? I don't know. I I, I found I found these these button lights in the back in the backyard. I think we could I think we could uh, have a few, a few cold ones with the boys. Whoa, Ferb, that's a great idea. Fred and Barney are both adults. They can have beer or a smoke if they want. It was a prime time show after all. I'm drunk on Bush right now. Thanks, Flitstones. I mean, it's on YouTube. Oh. We're off to a great start here. I already want beer. What is that? I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, is this? Is this, is this just a fat joke? Is this all this is? Yeah, what better way to sell beer than ha with handcuffs and fat jokes? It's 2007, I don't know. I don't know. There's no excuse for it. Bye, no, no. You gotta- you gotta ease me into these things! You can't just start off with th 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 that! Alright, let's go- let's get into it then, I guess. Something- bananas? Japanese banana commercial? Banana <laughs> I just love that picture. I love that picture that there's just someone who just is like so emotionally distraught that they, that they break down in public for whatever reason. And this guy's like, hey, I know your life's shitty, but watch this. 
Everything's better now. Oh, I got so much potassium. So much potassium. Like, what? Well, I love. I love that. Huh? Uh, I that's a lot. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot to unpack in a lot of these. But what I want to know is like, who do you have to convince to buy bananas? Okay, these are getting better. This list getting better. Mountainous Tibet, one of the most beautiful places in the world. This is Timothy Hutton. The people of Tibet are in trouble. Their very culture is in jeopardy. But they still whip up an amazing fish curry. And since 200 of us bought at Groupon.com, we're each getting $30 worth of Tibetan food for just $15 at Himalayan restaurant in Chicago. Save the money. <laughs> Unlock great deals in your town. <laughs> Groupon.com. <laughs> what? These poor Tibetan souls are watching their culture and their land be slowly destroyed before their eyes. There's nothing more heavy. Hey, but at least you can you can order their food at an American restaurant. Just uh, uh, call Groupon, put in the uh, put in the code Raid Shadow Legends. You can get some of their food uh, because you know they won't be able to make it for that much longer. And then it goes on to claim fish curry is a part of their cultural tradition when it isn't. When it that's not even real. They don't eat fish. Who Groupon? What the hell? This one is a bunch of letters. RC Cola. Sell me some RC Cola, please. From the RC Cola Philippines account. Ma? Oh. Ampun po bakos. Kasi ma, lagi na ako inaasar sa school eh. He's distressed. Ako, ma, eh. Something about school? Is he, is he being bullied? May paliwanag mo, bakit may apat na baso ko sa likod? Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? This is, this is an ad for soda. <laughs> oh, I don't want to finish this. What is happening? Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> I suddenly have the uh, strange desire to consume the, the, the cool, refreshing taste of RC Cola. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta go to the grocery store again. <laughs> What the fuck was that? This one broke me. Okay, this one takes the cake. Oh, okay, they have some context. Okay. Where the country's RC Cola franchise produced a commercial involving an anguished boy who asks his mother if he was adopted? Is that what that was? I'm at a loss for words. I know it's like my purpose to be like, reaction? <gasps> now let's talk about it. I can't. What am I supposed to talk about? What am I supposed to say that's not already been shown? Yeah. Let's move on to the next one then. Let's move on to the next one then. I just want weird ones, you know? Just give me weird ones. Everywhere I look, I see his face. This one's 11. It cannot be the same article. I can't we go away. We can move on. I want to forget. Oh! <laughs> I hate this. I regret doing this stream more than I regretted playing Elden Ring yesterday. Oh, okay. No, why'd you take so long on the swing? Fuck off. Why? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. This is a Kinder Surprise ad for chocolate, chocolate eggs for candy. It is the candy commercial. Me on Scrabbly. Chocolate Doobie! Doobie Chocolate Doobie! Pop Swubble! <laughs> Toy! Yodel Yaman! Me Scrooble stop. now! Stop! Choco! Whee! Kinder Surprise from Ferrero. Did homie just eat an egg and then kill himself? <laughs> I don't know what to say! 
I don't know what to say. How am I supposed to give commentary about this? I didn't think about how I didn't think that these these would be this bad. Yeah, like sure, you can you can say this video is not targeted towards younger viewers, right? You can say that all you want. It's a candy ad. It's targeted towards children. First of all, more cannibalism. I don't know why that is turning into a prevalent theme of the of the stream. Second, I would have preferred them to just like make him a chocolate egg, right? But I feel like it's so much worse making him a human being with flesh in the shape of an egg. I would rather have I would fucking I would rather have hold on. This. I would rather have this than whatever the hell this is. Okay. I didn't think I'd be praising this. But it's better than this! Unintentionally creepy. You cannot tell me that these fucking... That the, these fuckers in the 80s at Kinder Surprise looked at this and were like, Yeah, that's good for kids. They're gonna wanna buy our chocolate. Like, this had to pass so many different levels of, like fact checking you know this had to pass through so many people's eyes before it was on tv that's at least seven layers of checks and every single one of these were like yeah this is fine <laughs> ah! kevin the hamster kevin the hamster this is an ad for a gene company Kevin loved his wheel. Kevin loved his wheel. But one day... Oh. No, Kevin! It broke. No! Kevin grew bored. No, poor Kevin. And died. That's the ad. That's... <laughs> How is that... An ad for Levi's the Gene commercial. It... Oh my god, I'm 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 losing it. I'm losing it. What the fuck is that? No, it's all jeans. How the fuck does this sell jeans? How the fuck does this sell jeans? What? Kevin the hamster. He's pretty cool. And then he fucking dies. Levi's, buy my jeans! Levi's wanted to emphasize that they were original. So they took an original approach to advertising. What does a damn hamster have to do with jeans? If you're still asking questions like that, you haven't yet relinquished your grip on your sanity. Fuck man, I think that was left in the past a long time ago. If these are in order and you started out with Humpty Dumpty, and the ice cream man is second is second. What in the ever living fuck is this video? I should have cleaned up the grease over there. And they should never put the deep fryer so close. <sighs> what is this? It's a workplace safety PSA. Okay, let's watch some silly goofy ones. Let's watch some silly goofy ones. How about that? Back to these to make me laugh more than they're making me fucking upset. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, what's the the long man commercial? This sounds like a fucking SCP. This, this sounds like you're sending me to a goddamn SCP video. The long man ad. Long, long man? What is he all about? Why is he so long? <laughs> どうしたの通るさんが避ける組咲いてる時の顔が好きそうそう。ロングラングマン。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
れはあっバカい長けりゃいいのかいビロービロー That doesn't work. The process does not end well. <gasps> What? <laughs> Fucking what? No, stay true! Chi-chan, stay true! Oh my god, it's so long though! Oh, she's still thinking about him. She's still thinking about him! Not on the wedding day! Not on the wedding day! Oh my god! Oh my god! Twist. Oh, I'm so happy for him. Like this, this is how you do commercials. Okay. I feel like all stream, we have just been bombarded with quality after quality of bad commercials, of bad marketing. This is how you fucking do it. Okay. You get me hooked with a good plot line. And then you get that good old bait and switch that makes me just coming back. Wanting some long ass bubblegum. And the pinnacle is the one, the old. Long, long. Why did they make his face like that, too? Is that a metaphor for his cup?